What is going on, Barbies and G.I. Joes? For this episode, I'm coming at you with a Doom Builder tutorial here. Um, for this one, I'm going to be showing you how to create a fake floored ceiling. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is, I use GZ Doom Builder. So, I mean, you could use Doom Builder 2, but I mean, I'd rather use GZ Doom Builder since Doom Builder 2 is just antiquated. So, all right, uh, and this this is like in boom, okay? No, I'm not talking about like create fake floors in hex and format. I'm talking about like in a boom compatible map. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, so what I do is I put boom, doom two, doom format. So it's just, it's going to be vanilla style. Um, what you're going to need to do for your map, you need to have an IWAD, okay? Because without it you know, it's not going to even work, it won't load, and it will just crash uh, GZ Doom Builder, so you need an IWAD, so for our purposes, um, I'll just put Doom2.WAD. Uh, by the way, if you do not have it, um, you can go on Steam or GOG and, and purchase the game. It shouldn't cost a whole lot from what I've gathered, so... I'll just stick with the base textures. Alright. Let's see here. I'll, I'll just put like a square room. Okay. I mean, two squares is fine too. Okay. So what you're going to want to do, uh, what I did when it comes to making a fake floored ceiling is I just put a pit here. Um, what you're going to want to do, well I mean we got some missing textures so um, I mean default texture is fine too. I mean I don't really have an issue with it. Alright, so you got your pit here. Okay. Next thing on my roster is we need a player start. So, just player one start. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, I'm just going to call it... Um, just going to call it test. Okay. Now this this sector does not have a tag, okay? So, all right. And when you create a wad, you know it's going to generate a DBS file. So it's test dot wad. Uh, drop it in the GL boom. I mean, yes, the volume is low because I want you guys to be able to hear me. So, okay. So the pool that I just made here, the pits does not have a tag. Okay. So this is a pit. Um, by the way, when you make a dummy sector, okay, when you make a dummy sector, you, um, th this is the height that you need to have in a dummy sector. Alright. So. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a dummy sector, okay? What I'm going to do, I'm going to join these two, okay? And then I'm going to redraw this. Um, you still need the textures. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to raise the floor to... Um, be the same height as the surrounding floor, okay? What you also gonna want to do is give it a tag. I'm gonna use one just for our purposes. All right, but we're not finished yet. Okay, I just raised the um, sector height or or the floor height, I should say. 
Now here's what happens, okay? Okay, it's just a flat, um, it's just a square room. Okay. What you're going to need to do, and this already has a tag, okay? So, what you're going to need is a tag for the line def. So, in this case, it's going to be one. Now, let's see here. Um, create. Create fake ceiling and floor. You're going to want to have that. Okay. So that way you can actually make um, make it look like you're walking on glass. Alright. So now, let's test it again. So yeah, you notice that there, you notice this square pit that, that you saw earlier in this tutorial. Look what happens when I walk into it now. See, you're walking on glass. Okay, you're not falling into a pit or anything. You're you're walking on an invisible floor. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm gonna close this out now. All right. So, I hope that all of you have enjoyed this um, wonderful tutorial here. Um, now, if you guys ever need help with creating fake floors and ceilings, because um, that's what I like to do in my maps. And if you're wondering how I went about doing it, um, th this is how you do it. So this tutorial will be a good source for you if you need practice on creating fake floors to basically help uh, spice up your uh, appearance when it comes to the maps. Well, not your appearance, but the map's appearance. So I mean, I'm sure that's how uh, Zachary Stevens does his maps, who goes by the internet named Ribix. So, anyways, um, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any thoughts about this, leave them in the comment section below. Um, as always, um, thank you for watching, and I hope that all of you are having a good one.